fresh off that 4-3 victory, the Bulldogs back at it in their own barn to take on these Michigan Tech Huskies in search of their first series sweep since December the 2nd of this season as they look to go on a late season run. Near side, Miziak, big hit by Tyler Durante. He just rode him down to the ice. Oh my, got the shoulder right into him. Clean hit at the blue line by Moyes, but here come the Huskies. Off the center ice, Gavin Gould has it. Gould, far side, into the middle. He's a chance, Smith. Oh, what a save by Darren Smith. Alex Smith, highway robbery by Darren. Whoa, man. Out to center, here's Mitch Meek. Meek with Ray Bryce. Bryce over the blue line, shot. Glove saved by Smith and a beauty. Darren Smith. They play back and forth and neutralize. Here's a two on one. Drew Durante's with Mackin. Mackin is in, shoots and stopped by Munson. Oh, what a save by Packy Munson, who's way out of the goal still, but out of position there. Stamen in front of the cage, loose in front, stopped by Smith. Side of the goal there, cleared away from the front of the net. Darren Smith made another beauty. Goes back to the point for Hetz. Hetz waits, looking for a lane. Now he shoots through traffic, stopped in front, rebound loose on the doorstep. Poking away, they score. And the captain breaks the seal, making one nothing Ferris State. Hetz put the shot in on net, and the Huskies weren't able to clear it after Munson made the save, and eventually Corey Mackin snuck in on the left side and was able to poke that one home as Maloney was digging at it. Also, Drew Durantes and Mackin slides in from the left, puts it home, and the Bulldogs are up 1-0. And they just kept getting better on the power play, and eventually it paid off as the Huskies... Norris has to come in on support. Norris has his feet, gets it to Killen. Killens handles around one man. Huskies were changing. Gets it around another man. Nice play by Killens. End to end. Here he goes. Killens down the wall. Back catch shot. Loose in front. They score. Give it to Cole Norris, baby. It's 2 0 Ferris State. Riker Killens end to end. WCHA Defensive Player of the Week. I think so, Riker. Riker Killens able to bring that from the D zone all the way up. Get the shot on net. And Cole Norris takes it home as. Puts it across the face to goal, actually with the pass to Cole Norris who positioned himself very well on the back side of that goal and able to tap it home with a stick in his way. Great finish by Cole Norris. He scored last night, he scored tonight. And Meek, far side for Auk, into the middle Lucini. Locked here, here's a chance for Finner. Finner's got a shorthanded breakaway. Finner in a goal, shoots it, scores! Luke gets Spinner with the shorty. Ferris State leads it 3 0. 102 to go in the second. Ferris State takes the penalty, and what a penalty kill they had. And then Lucas Spinner able to get that on the break and finish on Packy Munson. You see, he's able to take it over center ice. No defenders in behind him. He goes forehand, backhand, lifts it up over. Watson starts the rush for Michigan Tech. Watson cuts around a defenseman. Top of the zone, long shot. Glove down by Smith. 15, Hawk taken down. Here's a rush the other direction. Three on one up the ice. Joining defensively is Lucini. In the middle, Maloney's there. Stick handling play, stopped by Munson. Packy Munson makes a stop with the left pad. Puts the glove down. Up the near side, Alex Smith has it. Over the blue line. Now over center ice to Gould. Chopped it around a man, got it to Smith. Smith is wide open in front of Darren Smith, and they score. It bounced off of Rechtenwald into the goal. 6.51 to go, and the Huskies break the shutout. Moyes with a shot through traffic, blocked by the Huskies. Beretta turns back with it. That's going to do it. Ferris State in front of 2,490, a sold-out crowd. Got to get the sweep. Second night and Michigan Tech battled hard for the second night, but in the end, Ferris State had more offense and uh, a great goaltending performance out of Darren Smith. And I think those are the two keys here and cannot emphasize enough how well Darren Smith played tonight and all the weekend.